today I'm going to show you how I transformed my Honda Element into the perfect solo camper with this bed platform and pull out drawer system. So this drawer system is super sweet, super long, and it even has this additional cutting board here, which I really like. So the problem I had with my old drawer system is that whenever I put anything underneath, it just stayed there. I was never able to access it. So that's why I designed this pull-out drawer system. So I had pretty much zero woodworking experience before attempting this. I watched a couple of helpful YouTube videos. And if you wanna try this yourself at home with a little bit of patience and some basic power tools, you can definitely do it. All in all, with getting the wood in the pull-out drawers, this setup may be costing me around $300 or so. So this is gonna be a little bit of a longer video. So grab some coffee, grab some tea, and uh, let's get into it. I'm gonna show you how you can build this thing at home. So here I used an old TV box, and I'm simply tracing out the rough idea of what I want the platform to look like. Then we hop inside of the vehicle, and I'm tracing around the wheel well so I can get a proper shape. Yeah. Thank God you and I that we are experiencing some like... So here I've got the cardboard mock-up of kind of what I want. Um, so this is the top half and I'm hoping to put a piano hinge here so I can open and close this and I can access the things back here. Now here is going to be a, like a nice pull-out drawer with a like kind of a kitchen setup. And one consideration is there's this little indentation here and it's not exactly flat here so when the drawer is going to pull out i'm going to have to have maybe like a little piece of wood in the bottom so that when i pull it out it's going to pull out smoothly and it doesn't bump into this little bump here or into the tailgate but um i think we need to stop at home depot next to get the plywood that we're going to use So the walls are 50 and one half inches long. They're 3 fourth inches wide and I chose 3 fourth inches because it's going to be a little bit stronger and Home Depot has them kind of pre-cut in these 10 foot pieces. And for the height we're doing 14 and one half inches and that works for me and I'm about 5'9". Here we're creating the wooden base and what I'm doing here is I'm cutting out that little wheel well portion so I have something to attach my walls to. For the platform base, it's going to be 24 and one half inches width. And for the length, it's going to be the same as the walls, 50 and one half inches. if this will even work or not. And that looks pretty dang good. Right on there. Hey, hey, nice. See this right here is blocking my way and that's kind of what holds the seat in place. So I won't be using the seat. So I think we could just unscrew that and this should fit in pretty good. So we're just going to remove the seat bracket and then um, that should make everything fit nice and flush. So we got the locking drawer slides and it came with the bolts. So that's good. So you push down and then pull out. Ooh, very exciting. Nice. Very cool. All right, let's start putting on. So here's the big moment of truth here. I'm about to install the drawer slides. Um, the ones I bought from Amazon came with some bolts, but people online were recommending that I use these uh, sex bolts. And basically it's got a female end and a male end, and it should be a little bit stronger. But because of that, we're gonna have to drill a hole so that these guys can fit. Uh, and it's, I believe, a 5 16th hole. So we're gonna go ahead and drill that now and put it in. And what I did to make sure 
that it was going to fit is I did like a little a test hole because I really didn't know what the size was going to be. And um, when I did that test fit, it worked out fine. So if you want to try that yourself. Anyway, they basically said to take this and then make sure it's aligned flush with the uh, outer edge of this thing. So it's flush on both sides. And now I'm just going to mark it and drill the holes. I just hope that fits inside the car. So what I did is I put a little piece of board under here so it doesn't like kind of crack through the wood. And uh, we got the first slide installed. It's time for the second one. And of course, it's like the hottest day of the year. My Uber drinks. What's up? Brother? What's up? Here. Thank you. Ring. Oh, thank you, dude. Appreciate that. You're welcome. <laughs> Originally, I wanted to have the stove inside of the drawer, but after some rethinking, I decided to do away with that. So this platform simply serves as a base to put my cutting board underneath. Here's where my slide out cutting board is going to be. And then here's part of the top platform. The reason why I have this here is for the cutting board, which is going to slide out and extend a little bit farther. And then this is going to serve as the base, right? And then essentially what's going to happen is the, um, the camp stove, my Coleman stove is going to sit right here. And then underneath here, I'll have my slide out uh, cutting board. So that way I'll have a place to cook, a place to cut my food. And uh, now all we got to do is attach that. Should be good. So we have the slides on now. Now we're going to attach this drawer to the slides. And basically I have to drill a hole on the outside here. Well, to event, prevent something called blowout, um, I need to attach another piece of wood behind the piece of wood that I'm um, attaching it to. So I just used a quick clamp to do that with. And now we'll drill the hole. And then we can attach this drawer to the slides finally. Okay, so then we can pull out the slide here, align the holes, and then use our handy dandy sex bolts, put it all together. Alright, I underestimated the weight. Oh, this thing is pretty heavy and awkward. Place. The moment of truth. Does it work? Boom! Yes! Let's go! Wow! <laughs> I have no idea what I was doing when I first started this. Woo! Check it out! It totally works! <laughs> Alright. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to install these little L brackets and essentially that's going to serve as a little bit of support for the bed frame or the bed top I should say. And then also it's going to give me access to this little cubby here. So let's mark it up and then uh, 
Let's drill some holes. <laughs> A lot of this build was kind of centered around this Coleman stove. And I, I want basically I want to be able to pull the stove out, use this as my cutting board, right? And then the way this connects to the gas is it has this like little funnel. And I'm gonna basically drill a hole in front here. So that way that this pole can stick out and then the gas can hang on my little cutting board here. So we're gonna go ahead and drill that hole. I already marked it and then uh, we'll continue on. All right, so I got the biggest drill bit I can find, and this is gonna work a lot better, I hope. Ooh. Oh, sh Just made a big old mark here. You're supposed to put a piece of wood on the backside. Why do you live and learn? Okay, third time's a charm. This is the tool I wanna use to make a hole. <laughs> so, Whatever this is, seven eighths, that'll work. All right, we're gonna give this thing a nice coat of polyurethane to keep it safe from um, being wet and stuff. Um, this stuff is like really smelly, so make sure you do it outside. And then ideally, you wouldn't leave it in the car, so I'll probably take this out and let it sit for the night. So I'm just using a foam brush here. Nothing crazy. So this is definitely an afterthought, but maybe instead of cooking on the inside, I can just cut these pieces of wood up top here and then um, cook on top of it. I think that's gonna serve me a lot better. So let's cut this. I'm gonna put some urethane on this thing, but first you gotta sand it down and it doesn't have to be crazy sanded, just a little bit. Makeshift cutting boards. So I'm gonna do the same to them because they're definitely gonna see some, some use for sure. I just installed the final piece here, this little piece of wood. So that's gonna be like my cutting board and I'm probably gonna put some sheet metal on top of it, but it's looking just about finished. I definitely didn't cut this front door all the way straight. So I might have to like cut a new piece of wood and put that on there. But for now it'll serve its function. Now it's time to take it somewhere pretty and give it a nice test run. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned because next up we're building the khaki Honda element. We've been slowly working on the khaki Honda element and now that the blue Honda element is kind of where I want it, we're gonna definitely transform this one. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Peace.